Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are here again, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, as the name suggests, is my Sephora Spring Sale Haul. It's everything that I picked up at the sale, so I'm going to share with you the things that I've been playing around with and enjoying, as well as some of the things that I didn't pick up. And I will share with you a current promotion that Sephora is having for Mother's Day, so definitely check that out. And so if you are interested in hearing more about all of that, then stay tuned. Okay, so before I share with you the things that I picked up, I did want to share with you that Sephora is currently running a Mother's Day promotion purchase a $100 e-gift card, and then you get a $20 bonus card. So whether you need to pick up gifts for family, friends, or even yourself, now is definitely the time to pick that up because I haven't seen this sort of deal before from Sephora. And I will share with you that the promotion ends on the 1st of May. So now is definitely the time to pick that up. And even if you want to save that for a later date, let's say that you know that in a few months you'll be out of your favorite foundation, or perfume and you want to apply it towards that, then I think that that is a great way to save some more money. All right, so now on to the goodies. One of the brands that I talked about in my Sephora picks and tips video for the sale was my love for Hourglass. It's my favorite brand, so I always do restocks and then I like to treat myself to a few new things just to play around with and I always look forward to that. And I mentioned that I fell in love or rediscovered an old love of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This had been my favorite primer years ago and I found that it ended up getting kind of scooted to the back of my makeup collection. I was trying new things and then I ended up getting a deluxe travel size, a deluxe sample of this and I found myself not being able to put it down. I was using it constantly and so with that being said, I ended up picking up another full size. This is a bit of a pricier primer. It's $54 for a fluid ounce, but to me, I need the smallest amount. And no matter what foundation I put on over this, it just layers so beautifully, really increases the longevity of my foundation. I do find that this helps to kind of minimize the appearance of pores and redness. And it also has a little bit of SPF, SPF 15, so I do get some added protection. I don't rely on this as my sole SPF, though. I will share with you that. So I've really been enjoying this. It does have a bit of a silky texture, so if you don't like that sil silky silicone feel, it's a bit of a tongue twister, <laughs> then I don't think that you would like this primer. But um, if you are interested in trying this, I did also pick up, they had a, you can pick this up, a deluxe uh, travel size as a point perk. And then they also have a travel size that you can purchase. I think it's around $19 and has a pump. So I was excited to have this back in my rotation. So the next product that I talked about wanting to pick up was also from Hourglass and it is the strobe lighting powder and the shade that I got was incandescent. I got this cute little travel size that was $24. I don't often go through highlighters. I like to rotate through them. If you're someone that likes to stick with the same highlighter day in and day out, then you might go through this a little bit quicker, but to me, I thought this was perfect. I always swatch this particular shade in store and it just gives a beautiful sheen to the skin. It's what I have on today. I find it doesn't accentuate any texture and I think this would also be really nice on mature skin. There's two shades, um, Euphoric and Brilliant, that I think might be a little bit too much if you do have texture or mature skin, but this to me is really beautiful. I have this applied here, and then I actually have another highlighter that I'll talk about in a minute applied right here. But so far, I've really been enjoying this, and sometimes I'll even apply it to my brow bone or even my inner corner. So yep, this has become a new favorite. All right, so I mentioned that I had another highlighter on today. This was something that wasn't initially on my list, but I constantly play with these in stores, and so I decided to treat myself, and this is, again, from Hourglass, and it's the Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick, and the color that I got was Pink Flash. I love these colors. I think that they're really beautiful, but this one particular shade, I don't have anything like it in my collection. And look at this packaging, you guys. I mean, that's so pretty. Little triangle and then you turn it and then the highlighting stick comes through the top. It's the same packaging, just a different color as the Vanish uh, foundation stick. And this color to me, it's just really beautiful, especially for spring, summer. And how I've been applying it is just kind of right here on my cheeks. And I think it just gives a little bit more dimension. And I'll see if I can swatch it for you. 
How I do like to apply it is with my finger. Some people I know on YouTube I've seen just kind of apply directly to the skin and then just blot or use a beauty blender or a brush. I've just been putting it on my finger and then just kind of blending in. And it's just really, really soft. It's nice and soft and silky. And again, I find that this particular shade also doesn't really accentuate texture either. I had a deluxe sample in Champagne Flash and really enjoy using that. And so I am also using that as well. But I've really been enjoying this. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin and just kind of how youthful my, my skin looks. So I will take that any day. So yep, enjoying this and excited to maybe try Rose Gold. That's another color that I considered. Um, but yeah, I've been pleasantly surprised with this and really enjoying using in my daily routine. Another product that I didn't have on my list, however, this is because it hadn't been released yet and we didn't even know it was going to be released. And that is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have really been enjoying using this, you guys. I am always on the hunt for setting powder because I have dry skin that's not gonna accentuate any sort of dryness, dry patches, but sets my makeup. And so far, this has been fantastic. I've been using this for the last week or so and that's what the packaging looks like. I am going to insert a picture because I'm worried if I open this and kind of tip it over, there's going to be powder everywhere. Yeah, there's already kind of powder everywhere. So that's what the lid looks like, and then there's an H there. So what it's supposed to do is dispense the right amount of product each time that you open it. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I do find this does a beautiful job of setting my foundation and giving a nice blurring effect to the skin. I will say that because I do have dry skin, I have to be careful with matte foundations. I cannot set a matte foundation with this. It's too much. It accentuates every little dry patch in my skin. But I did use this over my foundation today that's a more luminous finish. I used the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I had to think about the title for a second. And it's just, it's really pretty. I can even set my under eyes with it. I find that it adds a lot of longevity to my makeup. So I've really been enjoying using this and I'll play around with it a little bit more before I give you my final thoughts. But yeah, so far I think that this has been worth the investment. All right, so we were done with Hourglass, but not yet with makeup. I mentioned in my sale video that I was thinking about picking up a couple more shades of the Sephora Collection Rouge Shine lipsticks and that is what I did. I picked up two shades that I thought would be fun for summer. And the first one is shade 51 and this is called the magic story and that's what that looks like and it's a really pretty watermelon pink and these are really pretty they just give a nice glossy wash of color to the lips I'm not much of a matte lipstick kind of girl I think that they just dry my lips out and I just I like having a shiny glossy lip and then this shade here is shade 60 and it is love me tomorrow and I'll put that one on the outside and that one's kind of like a fruit punch hot pink almost. I have on the magic story on my lips today and I think it's a really pretty pink so I'm excited to play around with those. I will tell you that the shades that I picked up are being phased out so if you're interested in checking those out check out the sale page on Sephora's website. I was able to pick those up for 15% off $7 which I thought was a great deal. Next up is hair and this first product I knew I was going to pick up. I was initially intrigued from Stephanie Nicole's video about this and then what sealed the deal is that my friend Liz Alaska Beauty has been using this and seeing amazing results on her newly highlighted hair and it's the Olaplex Hair Perfector number no. three. This is a hair bond rebuilder and I think there's been some confusion about this because I think some folks thought it was a deep conditioning treatment and so as a result they were disappointed. You apply this on wet hair before you shampoo, you leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes. I've used this twice. I used this the second time yesterday and I left it on for about three hours. And so far I've been really happy with the results. This is a product that I think I'm gonna to need to use for a minimum of a month, once a week, for me to kind of give a more in-depth review on it. But so far I've been really happy with it. I know my friend Liz has been wearing this to work. She works out with it, she sleeps with it, and has been getting really great results. I, I don't think I'm gonna wear it to work, but I may sleep in this uh, soon, so stay tuned and I will keep you guys updated on that. All right, my last hair care product is a tried and true favorite. This is from Living Proof and it's the PhD Dry Shampoo. I ran out of this the day of the Sephora sale, so I picked up one. And even though this is my favorite dry shampoo, it's an absolute game changer. 
not sure I could live without this now that I have this. I only decided to pick up one and here's why. With the discount, I think I was going to save three something dollars. However, when I run out of this in the future, Sephora has different gifts with purchase and promos and sometimes those deals are better than what I would be saving with this. So I decided to stock up at a later date and the Living Proof website also has deals from time to time. So I decided to just get one and not go too crazy. So I really did try to keep things in check. What makes this an absolute game changer for me is that it really does clean my hair. For me, I spray, I section my hair, I spray at the roots, I let it sit for a few minutes, and then I work my fingers in, I loosen the oil, the dirt, the grime, and then I brush it out. And to me, this, this truly does clean my hair. So my last purchase is something that caught me by surprise. I was initially going to be picking up Nectar, which is a new fragrance from Commodity. And to me, it smells a lot like a more vibrant, fresher version of Jo Malone's Orange Blossom, which is my favorite fragrance. So I was planning on getting a travel size of that. However, I did go to a Nordstrom Beauty event and swung by Jo Malone and they had they had the trio of Blossom Girl fragrances and my understanding is that these come out every few years or so. So I smelled them and I kind of unexpectedly fell in love with one of them. So I looked on the Sephora website and these had just been added. So I decided to pick up the one that I fell in love with, uh, with the discount of course. And the one that I fell in love with was Plum Blossom. I mean, just look at the packaging, you guys. It's like a neon coral, so pretty. If for some reason this just reacts really beautifully to my body's chemistry and I just find myself constantly smelling my wrist, smelling my shirt. It's, I don't know, this is described as a fruity floral, but it's very fresh. It has notes of yellow plum, plum blossom, and white musk. And I like to spray this on my clothes. In general, that's how I like to apply fragrance. And then I also apply it to my hair. And I find that that increases the longevity of my fragrances, especially Jo Malone. These are not the most potent concentrated fragrances out there. And so that's one of the ways that I've been able to increase the longevity. And the other way I've been enjoying wearing this lately is with Orange Blossom. I will spray a few spritzes of this and then I will layer Orange Blossom on top of it. And I've been getting so many compliments. I think that it's a beautiful fragrance and then a beautiful fragrance combo for spring and summer. So I'm super excited to have this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So that is what I picked up at the spring sale. However, I didn't pick up a few things. And after I picked up the Jo Malone fragrance, I did have to look at my budget. That was a bit of an unexpected purchase. And so with that being said, I looked at the things that were on my list and took a few things off. The first thing that I took off was the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I looked at my collection and there was actually something that I kind of forgot that I had that's very similar. It's from Dermatruth and it's the In the Beginning Antioxidant Peptide Gel Cream. This is a really beautiful peptide based uh, moisturizer. It's in my favorite consistency. It's that water cream. So you can use this either AM under makeup or at nighttime. I'm really enjoying using this and I did have I think I've got a little less than half left. So my plan is to go through this and then possibly pick up the Drunk Elephant at a later date. But I just wanna get into the habit of using the products that I have and not just buying the new latest and greatest. And like with the Hourglass, I forgot that I had that and I just forgot how much I loved it. So I'm a big fan of going through my products and kind of inventorying the things that I have so that I don't get so overwhelmed with all this stuff. The other thing that I decided not to pick up was the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer in the full size. I do think that I'll be able to get through to November the next time that they have a sale by the time that I need to get a refill. And so I'm happy going through using the travel size that I have as well as the Laguna NARS bronzer that I've rediscovered. And then the Milani bronzer I've also been using and really enjoying that. So I'm going to hold off for right now and not pick that up until later. And as I previously mentioned, I didn't pick up the Commodity Nectar fragrance. It's super beautiful, but I'm really enjoying the Gem Alone. And I don't need more fragrances than I can possibly wear in a lifetime. All right, guys, that is it. That is what I picked up at the Spring Sephora sale. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I greatly appreciate it. I would love to know below what some of those things were that you picked up at the sale, if you picked up anything, or if you picked up something somewhere else and you've really been enjoying that. I would love to hear about that as well. 
If you like this video, consider giving me a like, and I would love to have you here on a regular basis, so consider subscribing, and while you're at it, hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. It means more than you will ever know. I hope this video finds you well, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.